Let's take a look at the Trello command line utility. I've stored my keys in the keys.json file at the root of the GTD scripts project. And the keys file is not tracked by Git and it will be populated by prompts if a key is non-existent. The Trello API takes an API key, a user token, and a username. I'm not going to show you mine at the moment, but I can assure you they're in the keys.json. And so we can run the script right here simple add Trello issue. We can run it like a normal command line script because of this header on top of the file which allows us, it's like a bash friendly node script basically. So let's do that and take a look at the actual Trello board we're adding to here. So we get a select list to select the number of the board we want. This board is called CPC so I'm going to select number four and I'm going to throw it into the icebox and the car name is going to be We Are Motorhead and the description is we play rock and roll. So we threw it in there and you can see it right up here. I promise I didn't create this card beforehand. So Trello has a great way of actually updating the UI in the web app which leads me to believe they have some nice WebSocket interface which uh, just adds to my positive opinion of the application. So check it out. Check out the CLU script and give me your feedback. Thanks.